can't be by you all the time, but you're on my mind. You see, that you are one of the special, incredible people in my life. I know I'm gonna make you. Yo, what it do? It's your boy FTC King, and I'm back on the stream. Hope everybody has a great, amazing, blessed, wonderful day. I'm getting ready to actually head out to the doctor. I'm just waiting on my mom and friends to come and pick me up. Uh, yeah, it was pretty hard last night to go to sleep because my whole body was aching and my incisions were hurting really, really bad. And I think they've been hurting really bad because like I'm already running low on medication, so I haven't been sleeping with the pains of the pain and it's been hurting. Uh, and I also wanted to say, um, I'm gonna have to call my phone company today because I was getting a lot of weird messages and I honestly, um, I don't know if my, my phone got hacked or what. Because like weird numbers have been calling me and I have been answering, but they have been like scam likely. And just weird numbers and sometimes they would just like stay on the phone or whatever and I say anything. And I just been getting like really weird like stuff going on on social media that's really weird. So um, yeah, if y'all don't see me on social media for a while, it's probably because of that. Um, and then too, like it's like it's so crazy because it's like I have been needing to take care of this problem because apparently somebody has been using my social security, and yeah, it's just weird. So I don't know what's going on with my phone. I don't know if hackers got a hold of my phone or what. But if you get any message from me on anything, do not open it because it's not me sending it to anybody. Like, I really don't message anybody. If I message anybody, it's just either my mom, my pastors, or the love of my life. That's it. Like, I'm just wanting everybody. So, if y'all get a weird message from me, do not reply back. Just automatically delete it because then your phone could be target next. So, I'm just bringing that to everybody's attention right now. And especially, like, on any social media sites or whatever. Or even if you get a message from my phone, <laughs> don't reply back of anything. Just call me and ask me if it was me. But, like I said, I doubt it because I really don't have anybody's number. So, if you get a weird number and, you know, or they're saying that it's me, don't fall for it because I'm just, I'm warning y'all. So y'all be careful because a, a thing has been going around and, had, and it was crazy because it, it, it even went around on the news um, about people calling numbers and they, them hacking your stuff, getting like your information, your bank account information and all this other stuff. So I really don't know what the heck went down. I, I don't know. I have to call my phone company when I get back and see what can I do or what or because that's just just weird so um yeah but anyway so I'll see you in a bit because I'm gonna be ready for this phone call too um so I can go to a doctor but yeah so I'll see you in a bit though chill yo what's up what it do what it do squad um I'm back you know what I'm saying yeah, I went to the doctor earlier. Well, yeah, it was way earlier because it's already, like, about to be 3 o'clock. Um, oh, man. Let me tell y'all. Look, you see, I went, went to the hospital and stuff. Uh, oh, man. The one that took my... They took my stitches off. It, it was just one person, you know. I don't know what I'm saying. They... It was one person. It was a lady. Um, she's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm in here. Duh, duh, duh. I had, you know, I already had the gown on, but I had it open from here or whatever. Which I really didn't need the gown on, but it was cold, so I had just the gown on or whatever. Because, of course, I had my shorts on or whatever. And, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, okay, she's gonna, she's gonna just check it and be like, oh, yeah, you know, they're, they're gonna fall off with the water. Duh, duh, duh. She's like, uh, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna pull them off. Well, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> like literally, I'm like, what? 
I'm like, oh man, no, 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 this can't be happening. <laughs> not, not right now, at least. Like, man, I'm, ar I'm already in a whole bunch of pain. Like, come on now. Um, cause like I told you, I was running low on medication and stuff, so I didn't take any medication. I was saving it, cause I didn't know if they were gonna give me like refills or not. Uh, so then you know, she's like, "How's your pain, or whatever?" And I started telling her. And she's just like, oh, man. She's like, they got you good, huh? I was like, yeah. I'm like, this is the second one. We need, we need one more to go. She's like, man, you're a warrior. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, I appreciate that. And she's like, man, she's like I, I heard, you know. She's like, um, she's like, just know you're one strong cookie. And she's like, and I admire you, and I look up to you for that. And I was like, you know, thank you. And, um... So then, you know, she's like, man, I salute you, da da da. So I was like, I appreciate that. And so she's like, but we're gonna have to um, take these things off now. And I'm like, I was trying to make a conversation and just to avoid the situation from getting the stitches moved out. <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, I'm just like, all right. So I was just sitting up like this, regular, you know what I'm saying? And so she started off with this one. Which this side I didn't I no longer have uh I no longer have a nipple or whatever. So when she started off I was just like oh man I was like because it was hurting like they were really stuck on there. They're stitches but they call in their language they they don't call them because they're supposed to be melted stitches melted stitches they usually come off when you know you take a shower and stuff. But since these were so stuck on there she had to take them off. So I was just like, oh man, here we go. So I just took in a breath, like I breathed in. And as she started, I was like, oh, I like literally biting onto my dang finger because it was hurting. I was like, oh Lord Jesus, take the wheel because my hand, this is painful. So she was like, you know, lay down. So then finally I laid down. She's like, let's see if it'll help if, you know, you lay down. So I laid down or whatever. Not all the way down, but I was kind of like, more like laid back than actually sitting up and uh, probably a little bit layer back than this but uh, like the their 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 beds are not like the flat beds they're the ones that are like actually chair wise whatever but like, it can lay back so i'm just like man i'm like this is so crazy and i'm not kidding y'all guys right now i'm in a whole bunch of pain i'm just over here like sucking it in and stuff so then uh somebody's i'm like what the heck is going on but um yeah so then she put her off whatever and i'm just like oh so i look at it and i'm just like like literally they just they they remove the, the they remove like the nipple whatever and they just literally like sewed her up whatever so it's like it's like a line sort of type of thing so then i had i don't know if y'all remember but if you go back and look at my video i had like a small stitch like about that small right here and she's like, all right, we're getting ready to take this one off. I said, oh, boy. So she pulled it off, and I'm just like, man, I, I, want, I literally, I was screaming. <laughs> I was trying to be so dang tough, but, man, sometimes being tough just ain't, it's going to get the best of you. So I was like, man. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's like, it's, it's hurting you because, you know, you have a whole bunch of hair, yeah, hair right there. You know, so that's why it's uh, hurting like that. And I'm just like, I'm on there gasping for air and stuff. So then, yeah, you know, and then she, um, she's like, I'm going to give you a high dose, higher dose of medication or whatever. And she started telling me how she wanted me to take it. She actually prescribed me two different ones. One was to like the tolerance for the pain and the other one was for because since I got damage in my nerves and I have really bad, uh, how did she call it? Um muscle spasm because uh the other night i hadn't mentioned it really to anybody so the other night uh the other night i was like laying down and i was laying down so i wasn't even asleep i was laying down or whatever so next thing you know i just see it go like they're just like 
It's just going crazy. And it lasted for like five minutes. Going crazy without stopping. I tried putting pressure. And I wasn't helping. So I'm like, what's going on in here? So she said that's muscle spasm. So she gave me like medication for, uh, for, well, the muscle spasm one is for muscle spasm, and like muscle relaxer, and it's also for uh, nerves. And so she's like, you know, I want to hire your dose on your, for pain or whatever and whatnot. So I'm just like, okay. And yes, yeah, so I was just like, man, but it was crazy though. It was that, that was painful. That was really painful. These are the first stitches that I, like, out of all the stitches that I've had, have had, these were the first ones that they actually had to pull off. I was like, oh man, and they were the most painfulest ones. Because I've had stitches on my, on my stomach. I have had stitches on my knee. And... Then these and yeah, these were these were these were the most worst ones. <laughs> yeah, more that little one compared to the big one though. Honestly, it was more. But she, like she said, cause it was like um, I had a, a whole bunch of hair right there. And so yeah, and then oh yeah, and then she too. Uh, she um, they're gonna they're gonna send me off to uh, like therapy and stuff for to try to help the um, the nerves. But if therapy doesn't help, then when they do the the nipple tattoo, they'll end up um, going back on this side and going deeper down and to try to try to connect the nerves back together. I don't know. She's just something like that. And I'm just like, dang, like, that's just too much cutting already. Like, <laughs> so I'm just like, wow. Um. But yeah, that's that's what happened at the at the doctor though. And then I was tripping out because me and my mom we were, we were coming or whatever because you know my mom's with me and so we was coming and stuff. And there's like a there's like a restaurant that's right here down the street from where I stay. It's like a Mexican restaurant. Man, it burned down. I'm like, what? Like the whole restaurant didn't burn down, but the back of it burned down. And then my mom's my mom said that because my mom was here. Well, we were you know me and my mom was here whatever, but. She was in her room and I was in my room laying down because I was trying to take a nap. And my mom was in her room laying down watching the news. And because, you know, she had already done, got, she had already, we had already got, been here for a while. So she had already done, got done cleaning and stuff. My mom cleans every day. That's like, she, that's the reason why we say she's Cinderella because she, like, she cleans every day. Uh, so almost call it, uh, she was watching the news and she came in and she was like, yeah, they said that it burned down. I think she said it's something about it started in the vents or something. And it ended up like, I was like, man, that is crazy. But because at first when we were walking like by, we like smelt it. And you know, when you smell burn, you're just like, what the heck? Like, what? And I'm like, what? I had one like that. And I'm like, where's that coming from? And then when I look at it, I'm like, because my mom, well, she was walking and she had her head done. And I'm like, hey, little mom, that's what burned down. And she's like, well, because her friend uh, was uh, coming through there this morning because her friend comes and picks her up and takes her and my little brother to school, whatever. So her friend was coming or whatever and to pick her up, and she said that it was blocked off there with uh, the, with the police and everything. And But she didn't know if, why. And what, when we passed her, then we seen it, and we were just like, dang. But, yeah, I'm just like, man, that's crazy, though. And right now, she wanted to go pick up my little brother. And, yeah, so I'm just right here. We were just chilling. Um, we was both reading this Bible, like, looking at this Bible. Because it's like, like I said, this is the one I showed y'all yesterday. The one of my of our pastor. And this is a really cool, cool, like, like this is a cool Bible. Like, it tells you a lot of, you learn a lot of stuff. It's more, I guess it's more like in the language that we speak now instead of the perfect, like, because it's funny how, you know, we speak English, but we don't speak that appropriate English. We, they don't teach us that appropriate English, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like in a language that we would understand more better. And it's just, it's a remix, but it's, it's cool though. If y'all want to go cop one. If you're interested, that's the name of this one. 
and it's called a remix and it's it's nice my pastor he told me he's like here man he's like i want you to take this i want you to read it and tell me what you think 39.99 that ain't bad not for a bible you see when when that there, when there's a price tag to a bible it ain't bad because just imagine 39.99 is something you will spend on some shoes or some mess or something, you know what I'm saying? So thirty nine ninety nine for a Bible that ain't bad, you know what I'm saying? That's where a lot of people don't realize stuff. Like when it comes to stuff like like you know, so it has to do with um with Jesus, with God, you know, with the Bibles and stuff. Like there ain't no price limit to that, man. Cause trust me, you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn a lot of knowledge from this. And actually, what I'm doing. Um, I actually been reading this since I had got home. This Bible, I've been reading this since I got home. So I've been on it for some for some good amount of time. And because I'm also working on a song, well, it's not gonna be the song that I was gonna gonna drop yet. Cause that one that one has to be that one's taking time. But that one, you know, when time when the time is right, it's gonna come out. But I'm gonna make another song that is gonna have to do. It has to do with you know. It has to do with, with, you know, with God, with Jesus, and, you know, with Jesus and God. Jesus and God, guys, is the same person. Let me rephrase, let me remind y'all again, because a lot of people get confused, like, well, why is Jesus Jesus, and why is God is God? Jesus is Jesus, because Jesus, God had to put himself into Mary, and to come out as a human, and he had to do that in order to... Basically, in order to do what he did, he had to do all that to create us, to create everything. And at the same time, basically, at the same time, basically, he had to go through a lot of stuff that we go through in life now, nowadays, you know? Like, you know, a lot of people, you know, wanted to do this and do that in him because they didn't believe that he, when they found out that he was the Messiah, they didn't believe it. They were mad. Duh, duh, duh. Everybody was jealous of him. His own disciples turned their back on him. Um, and you know, all this stuff. And basically it's like the, the life that we're living now It's like, who can you really trust in this world? Nobody. Cause at the end, that's the reason why, like, that's how I've, I've been saying it and I'll continue to say it. I feel like I can't trust nobody cause everybody to me is a snake. And it's like they say, you know, the, the devil, the devil was a disciple and he turned his back on Jesus you know what I mean and not every angel and not every angel is good because the devil once was an angel so it's kind of complicated you know what I'm saying but the more you read into it the more you look and you know what I'm saying get deep in it you will find out a lot of stuff that you'll just be like wow like dang that really happened like dang that's crazy you know it's really interesting once you get into it man and that's coming from a person who, like, I'm not, I'm going to be straightforward. I'm straightforward with y'all all the time. I'm straight honest with y'all. And I'm being straight honest. Like, I was a person that, I was really never into books. I, I don't know why. It, it would always get me sleepy. I was never into really books. Like, I was more into, like, math and stuff like that with numbers and stuff like that. I guess that's the reason why I like music so much. And math was my favorite subject in school because... Music is like math. You got to put it together. You know what I mean? If you're a musician, a singer, or a songwriter, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say math. Otherwise, if you know, you'd be like, no, I hate math, then basically you wouldn't, you know, qualify to be, you know, like, oh, I want to be a composer, this and this and that. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has their favorite subjects. Like my mom's favorite subject her favorite subject was actually reading like she could literally read a book she'll get into it and be done in a day which usually occasionally that's what happens when she's really into a book and my mom's always into a lot of books like man i remember you know one time she was reading this one book to us it was called about a child a, a boy named it if y'all haven't read that book go read it it's gonna make you cry and it was about a little boy who got neglected you know um by I believe it was his mother or it was his father I don't really remember no more man because she read that to me a long time ago when I was younger like when that first came out 
that little boy had to go through so much stuff that oh my god it just hurt i could just by remembering that it just hurt it's made my stomach go round and round right now and i was just like man like that literally brought tears into my eyes and i was just like wow like how can a parent be so cruel and mean to their kids like i'll be seeing a lot of parents nowadays you know they be cussing at their kids and stuff it's like did it not hurt you to have that child like what is your problem you need Jesus to be your savior. But anyway, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see y'all in a bit. And I'm going to continue to view my Bible. So I'll see y'all in a bit, though. And I hope y'all having a great, amazing day. And I'll catch y'all in a bit, though. Sure. Man, one thing I wanted to say is I appreciate my pastors so much. Like, they're always there for me to hear me out through the good, through the bad. It's like every time I need them, they never let me down. And it's just cool to be able to communicate with my pastors like that and for them to care so much about me and my health and, you know, my family and stuff. And it's like I tell them I don't know how I'll ever be able to repay them back after so much that they've done for me, you know. One of my pastors, you know, he literally paid for my surgery. And I was like, you know, he didn't have to do that, but he did it out of the kindness of his heart. And I just called him right now. I was talking to him and telling him how much I'm enjoying reading the Bible that he let me borrow. And he's like, oh, so you like it? I'm like, man, Pastor, I don't like it. I'm in love with it. I love it. And he's like, oh, that's good. That's good. He's like, I'm glad you do. I'm like, yeah, I love it. He's like, nah, yeah, just com continue to read it and, you know, you know, let, let me know uh, what you keep thinking about it. And I'm like, I'm like, right now, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm like, so I really appreciate you. Thank you for letting me borrow it. He's like, nah, he's like, I kind of figured you would. And I was just like, nah, yeah, you know. And I just wanted to come here, and come on here and say that, that I really, I really appreciate my pastors and everybody at church that, you know keeps me in their prayers and it's um it's a beautiful feeling how church people become like your second family and they don't judge they don't do any of that all they ever do is show love and appreciation and the, the crazy thing that they say about me is that no matter the worst pain that I'm in I always show up to church and even at times when I just front and I just sit there and I'm just smiling and put in reality and inside I'm in pain but they know that that's, that's how smart they are you know what I'm saying they done learned that from me that I could be in so much pain but I'm gonna sit there and still smile like I tell them at the end of the day, God did so many sacrifices for us, for me. And the only thing I could do, like, is live by his word and live for him. And so I could make it into the, you know, the, into the gates of heaven. One thing I learned too is. We will be living in heaven for a thousand years, and then God will create a new earth. That's a blessing. And I say it, that's a blessing like that, because that's a blessing. Oh, y'all wondering why I don't have a shirt on? It's because it um, kind of got a little hot, and uh, oh, I don't got it right here. Oh, my back is starting to hurt. <laughs> The reason I don't have that that thing on right now, cause oh my god, these incisions, these incisions, incisions are freaking hurting, and I feel with that thing that it pulls. Oh man, oh, it's hurting. Anyways, though, I just wanted to come on here and say that I appreciate my pastors. Shout out to Pastor 
Andre Pastor Ray and two of their amazing amazing wives who man they all love me into shout out to my boy Vinny shout out to Larissa and shout out to Mateo Vinny and Larissa are pa my pastor Andre's uh, kids his son Sh shout out to Vinny because he's about to be 13 next week and shout out to to Larissa who her birthday was on uh May the 4th and little Mateo that's pastor that's my pastor uh, his name's pastor Ray that's his that's his baby boy he dang baby boy's gonna be I don't know I think baby boy's gonna be two I believe two or three in August but yeah, shout out to them, man. They're some good, sweet little kids. Like, for real. Like, every time they see me, they run to me and they give me a hug. And they always tell me that they praying for me and stuff. And there ain't no better feeling than to feel that, you know, that, you know, they're that they're happy for me. Even though, you know, like, they sit there and they pray for me at home and stuff, you know, with their moms and their dads and it's just amazing. It's just a beautiful feeling, like that a, a, a kid, an innocent kid, just wants to see a grown person like me not be in pain anymore, to be pain free. Like they tell me all the time when I see them, like, "Oh, we're just still praying for you. Hopefully, one day you don't have to feel no more pain." And I'm like, "Oh man, you are just so, so you are just so sweet." But yeah. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'm gonna. I lay down and take my medicine and go to sleep because I am sleepy so I'll see y'all in a bit though chill yo what's up what do fam I just came to end this video this vlog for y'all uh, I hope everybody had a great amazing blessed day and um, I'm about to lay down so I'm in a whole bunch of pain so I'm going to edit this video for y'all and yeah so hope everybody has a great day tomorrow I mean, <laughs> hope everybody has a great night remember if you're drinking don't drive Get a designated driver. And uh, shout out to all my new subscribers. I appreciate all my supporters. It means a lot to me. Um, and I will see y'all tomorrow. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, join the team, join the squad. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Chill.